Hey, it's Diego with Aim Shoot Develop. Today I'm talking about this pretty cool point and shoot with transparent top CV40 by Vivitar. I talked about a video about it in general, just the specs, but here I am actually shooting it. So took a little trip. Pretty much this whole video is me taking trips and showing off some of the camera. What a perfect excuse to go out and have some fun. There's certain times with this camera where the results come out really sharp. There's times where they come out a bit soft. There's times where it comes out with some weird defects. So I'm just gonna point them out as they come along. Here's, it was a pretty moderately nice day. So you can see some of the colors really pop. The lens did a really good job of showing it off. The reason that I'm drawn to this camera is the cool transparent top with the blue, kind of reminds me of an N64 or even my Polaroid demo unit. Um, you can see that the bar is stopped to get the shutter down, but once you open it, you can actually see that it allows space for the shutter to go down. It's a pretty cool little security feature. I'm sure cameras have it, but you just can't see it because it's under the plastic. But with this camera, you can actually see it, so it's kind of cool. They did also make a Vivitar 35. Um, the thing with this camera is that it does get a little bit bulkier because it does have the data back. It takes two AA batteries instead of just one on the 35 because of the motor drive. The cool thing about this camera is that it's really fun. You can just pull it out to parties. You can see that a ton of them are just going to be parties or situations and just take pictures. Usually people are really open to taking pictures because it doesn't seem intimidating. Um, I've been doing a lot of videos where it's just a fun amount of cameras. You can see that on the left, there is a bit of a wash, some light leak. I'm not sure if that's because of the transparent top. It do, you do get it in some photos, you don't get it in some other ones. Here the footage is transitioning to night, so I had to test out the flash. I was wondering if, since it was blue, that if the flash was going to come out with a bluer tint to it, and it actually didn't. It was just a little theory thinking that some of the blue might catch the flash, but it actually didn't, so. Here transitioning to really night, a little bit more darker, we were just having some fun with some yadas. But I like to test out the cameras in various situations, bright, sunny, cloudy and really dark. Here you can see there's not too much actual light going on and the flash did its job. Obviously you get some softness from the reflective stuff, but pretty well, it does a pretty good job. So transitioning to the next day, here I thought the structure looked pretty cool. Again, you do get some wash on the brights. And on this next one, you can see that it got some light leaks, some flash or something happened. I'm not too sure what was going on there, but I do like the level of unpredictability you do get some cool stuff. He was just going for a little trip. It was a really windy day that day. So you can see that these trees pretty much were almost going to bend off. It's kind of scary, but definitely wanted to document it because I think it's just pretty cool. You don't see that that often. So capturing it on film is pretty neat. On this next photo, I thought it was cool that I had this in my pocket to take a picture of the Don't Dead open inside. Um, I do have a video talking about Universal Studios. I did see the door, but I didn't get a picture of it. So it's pretty funny. All right, and in transitioning to Halloween, here there was a uh, deer mounted on the wall. So I thought it'd be cool to pretty much get that picture where you align the antlers with the person. You can see that there's kind of a line on the bottom. I'm not sure if that's the flash or what that is. Maybe it was a really dull situation, but it kind of caught the flash at a weird moment. Again, on the left-hand side, you do have that burn effect. I'm not too sure what it is. It comes in and out from the roll. So I'm not sure if it was something I did or just the process, but... Um, just some differences in the pictures. Hi, my name is Stream and this is Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> We actually didn't get too dressed up for Halloween because we had a Halloween party earlier. I was actually there in the, down in the middle with uh, the Rosie the Riveter, which is a pretty cool costume. Most days I'm actually not shooting 35mm film, I'm actually shooting Instax wide, so sometimes in a reference days I have Instax wide scans from the day. As you can see here, there's times where these night shots actually come out very crispy. Um, it's pretty cool when it comes out on the left that you can see that yellow burn. I think on the far left, those rips are actually leaves. So, all right, so just rewinding the film here. So get it ready for development. You hit the rewind button. You can see that the numbers go backwards, which is pretty cool. It's fun to watch. But some of the things I liked is actually the motor drive. I really like that on a point and shoot. I have used the Olympus before. Um, check out that video. It's pretty cool. But on this little plastic point and shoot where the lens isn't that sharp, it's actually quite nice to have a motor drive. It is a little bit bulkier considering the size. I was using a Fujifilm Extra 400, 
which is my go-to film. I love it so much because it's cheap and readily available at Walmart. Another thing that I really liked is just the aesthetic of it. You can see that it's really cool. The blue really is inviting. It's non-threatening. Um, just the color in general seems really fun. It is a little bit bigger and a little bit weighty on the camera itself, kind of heavy on the pockets. So carrying it around in a denim jacket is fine, but if you were to put it in your pocket, it would get a little bit inconvenient. Um, definitely just liked it for the fun experience. Definitely fun to see smiles and see people, you know, that haven't seen me shoot cameras in a while or people haven't seen in a long while get excited because um, once you send the development, that's just the best feeling in the world is sending all the people whose picture you've taken their photo. You know, they forgot about it, but, you know, it's cool to get remembered of a moment from the past. So it's really nice. Overall, my goal with this channel or just in general is just to show how fun photography should be. Just go out and shoot. You don't have to have an expensive setup or expensive cameras. You can just go out and have fun with this stuff. Obviously, it does take time for the development and all that stuff, but I think it's worthwhile and it's something to look forward to. I love getting the email saying that my photos are in the lab and they're being processed or even available. So it's very cool. If you like this video, make sure to not just drop a like, but subscribe if this is your first time. And definitely check out my Instagram by the same name, Aim, Shoot, Develop. I have tons of stuff on both things, both my YouTube and my Instagram. I'm trying to post very consistently. You can see the dates. It's pretty consistent. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Keep shooting film. Take care. Peace.